Now that you have received your academic advising, you are advised to go and register via the Banner Registration System. You can do this at the Faculty of Social Sciences Computer Lab. At the end of the registration process, please print your fee sheet, apply for GATE through the eGATE website, print your eGATE form, pay compulsory fees at any branch of Republic Bank, attach the eGATE form, fee sheet and bank slip and drop it off at the Student Admissions Building. You can check online for financial clearance and on receiving financial clearance, make your way to the Student Administration Building to get your student ID. Please check your online timetable to ensure that you attend all of your classes and register for lectures and tutorials as necessary. Students are advised to use the email account provided by the university because these are used in all official correspondence. Please familiarize yourself with the My eLearning Portal. My eLearning Portal is an online learning environment adopted by the university which provides students with an additional avenue to contact their lecturers, participate in online activities such as discussions, polls, wikis, submit assignments, take exams, access course material and read announcements from their lecturers. Students can access this portal at any time and anywhere by clicking on the My eLearning tab on the My STA homepage. Let's talk about meeting your degree requirements. The structure of a social sciences degree is 90 credits or 30 courses. 30 credits which is equivalent to 10 courses in level 1 and 60 credits which is the equivalent of 20 courses between levels 2 and 3. What is the difference between a major, a special and a minor? A student is considered to have completed a major if they have completed 30 credits or 10 courses within a particular sub-discipline. A student is said to have completed a special within a course if they have completed 45 credits or 15 courses within a sub-discipline. And a minor is when a student has completed 15 credits which is the equivalent of 5 courses within a particular sub-discipline. Please check your faculty booklet to ensure that you are completing the correct suite of courses to complete a special, a major or a minor. What are core courses versus elective courses? A core course is mandatory for the completion of your degree program, while elective courses can be taken from any faculty within the university system. Please check your faculty booklet to see which are your mandatory or core courses. What are exemptions only and exemptions with credit? A student can be given an exemption only status or an exemptions with credit status if the course they are required to read mirrors a course passed at a previous institution. A-levels and CAPE courses are included. Please check the faculty booklet for the complete list of courses. We recognize that navigating your way through these important regulations may require further reading. However, to enforce what you already know and to find out more about cross-faculty majors, specials, majors, minors, double majors, declaration of minors, enrollment status, deadlines, class of GPA, clarification of dean's hold, and required to withdraw status, we invite you to visit the Faculty of Social Sciences office for further advice and clarification.